Uh, there's a couple people here that we're going to see later on this afternoon uh, when we actually go to the uh, to the Democratic meetup. So. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, see, you know, this is one of the things that I've noticed. Um, I don't know if it's just because of their, uh, their majority here or uh, if this is something that's part of the Republican character. But uh, Republicans really tend to stick together and close ranks around each other. And uh, you go and, and, I mean, you can see it. We'll, we'll, we'll try it a couple times when I go and, and introduce myself to Republican candidates. It's like, you know, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to hear from you. So, which is a shame, because I mean, I think you can be cordial, friendly. I think you can. Oh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, I think we got set up about 15 minutes before it's time to go. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Running for U.S. House. Who's got that seat now? I'm Oh, okay. Are you running a Democrat? Uh, independent. So it's you and Bert. Yeah. Yeah, it's me, Bert, our Democratic challenger, and Connie Mack. We got a four-way race this year. Wow. wow. Should be interesting. What made you decide to jump in? Uh, I've been thinking about jumping in for a while. I think it's just it's not going to change. Okay. Not just with Congressman Mack, but I think across the board. How's your race going? Working hard. <laughs> Working hard. Got to do it every day. Got to be out there knocking on doors and putting up signs and raising money. Otherwise, you know, you can't get stuff. You can't get the, the, the media exposure. That you need. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, of course. Now, your district 23. What's the what's the borders? Um, it is Sarasota and Charlotte County, mostly rural community. What, uh, all of Charlotte or what, which? No, just the western part of it. Western, western part of Charlotte. Yeah. Just a little bit. Because uh, your district goes in the neighborhood of Tundra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with Boca Grande. Yeah. That was great meeting you, Mike. Good luck. to just go ahead and pack everything up. with the camera if they're engaged in a, in a conversation.
how it's going to work. That's what I did. You know, you know, we're Yes, I don't know anyone in Charlotte County. <laughs> Hydrogen power stuff now. You know, 
granted, if you're growing canoe oil and new gas, that's fine. You know, we, we need things that are going to go in and between that and or after that. You know, and there's, there's some stuff on the drawing board now that I don't, say a, a new piping, we're talking about new wells take 10 years. First of all, I find that hard to believe, but let's, let's pretend they're right. You know, if we get some clean, uh, innovative uh, thinking companies that are looking for all their choices, I think they can do a lot quicker than that. And you know, I think this is the thing. Uh, what we're going to see is we're not going to see any one single energy solution. In 20 years from now, some, some of our power is going to come from wind, some of it's going to come from solar, natural gas. Yeah. Water. We'll still have oil in the mix. Water. Uh, yeah, hydroelectric. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, all of these things, you know, and what matters to the consumers when they flip on the light switch, they have electricity. Yeah. They don't care what's providing the power, but I mean, they do care, of course, to a certain extent about how clean it is. Yeah. But, you know, when you need power for your... Uh, for your well, as you know, we just need two more power plants to go mm -hmm. So that, that's a step. they are always been a little scary. Show me that we don't have it, you know, so that they've gotten smart with it. Oh, it's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, Jack. Glad you came here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, everyone's getting ready to pack it up.
this district, like so many districts across the country, and particularly across Florida, have been gerrymandered uh, really badly. Uh, by all rights, this should probably be either part of District 16 or part of uh, uh, District 13, uh, but we've got it. It's not uh, exactly a contiguous area with the rest of uh, District 14, but still, we'll see what we can do to make sure we do a good job of representing these people up here. Go ahead and get some like, road footage. Well, <laughs> road spray footage.
I came this way when I was a kid, but I can uh, honestly say that this is my first time going to Boca Grande as an adult. So this is a monumentous occasion. <laughs> have you ever been here? No, can't say that I have. Well, it's no. Damien's first time. What a day to see it, huh? Oh yeah. Ah, uh, yes, please. Thank you, sir.
Yeah, it said beach access public parking. There is something like that. It's a park here. I could have mentioned it. No shame at all in admitting I would love to have one of these nice little houses uh, on the beach. Doesn't have to be a big, huge house. Definitely don't want one of those McMansions. But uh, having some nice beachfront property. I tell you, the favorite place uh, that I've ever lived in Southwest Florida is I lived in a, a duplex on Fort Myers Beach. Uh, it was right on the other side of Estero from the beach. So it was like the first house in off of Estero. So you could just essentially walk it right across the street to the beach. Nice. Wasn't that expensive either? I was only paying, it's back in like 2000, 2001, I was only paying like maybe 650 a month. that house, they're not voting for me. <laughs> 